It's the end of the world as you know it. Every human on earth suddenly went extinct, and it's time for nature to make its ultimate comeback. Whether it was a global pandemic, a planet-wide volcanic event, or a gigantic space rock, we reached the end of the line for our species. Every single human on earth is gone. Now, while there's no hope for humanity to make a comeback, time to see just how long it would take for the last remaining traces of human life to disappear. But first, here's one thing that will help you survive any kind of apocalypse, Bespoke Post. It's a monthly membership club that delivers you top-shelf goods from under-the-radar brands, or as I like to call it, a box of awesome. Bespoke Post sent me a point box and a pickled box. Now anyone who knows me knows that I'm about 70% vinegar and about 30% salt. So a pickled box? Right up my alley. Bespoke Post offers you awesome new boxes every month. You fill in a preference quiz and they introduce you to brands and products you didn't know of before. From outdoor gear to live oysters. Every box of awesome has around $1.70 worth of goods inside, but costs you only a fraction of the value. Now, before you get your box, you can preview it and decide if you want to keep it or swap it for a different one. And if you didn't feel like any of the options, you can always skip a month or cancel any time. And now you can get 20% off your first box of awesome. Just click on the link in the description and enter what if 20 at checkout or go to bespokepost.com slash what if. The first week of life on earth without humans would be tough for all the pets. Without you, your furry companions would need to get outside and find food for themselves. So hopefully you left a window open for them. Your peace lily would stand no chance. But that wouldn't be the only thing at stake with you gone for just one week. Soon the world would become radioactive. The thing is, our nuclear plants produce nuclear waste. These pools of spent nuclear fuel need to be constantly cooled off with water, and that water needs electricity to circulate. Without humans to maintain the electrical infrastructure, soon nuclear facilities around the world would start losing power, and that would cause a disastrous chain reaction. The water that used to cool down nuclear waste would stop running and begin to boil off. This would expose nuclear waste, causing it to catch fire. All this waste would explode, covering the planet in deadly radioactive chemicals. Ecosystems around the world would start dying from all the radioactivity, and many of these chemicals would remain dangerous for 300 years, and some, like plutonium, would stay radioactive for the next 240,000 years. But let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. Okay, about one year after we're gone, nature would begin to reclaim our roads and highways. All the freezing and thawing would cause water from melted snow to flow into the cracks. In these cracked vacant streets, new plants would grow. In forests poisoned by radiation, there wouldn't be any birds singing this year. But further away from these deadly areas, animal populations would start to boom. There wouldn't be any humans to hunt them or force them out of their natural homes anymore. Without pesticides, insects would reproduce quicker, taking over the globe. This would mean much more food for all kinds of animals, like reptiles and rodents. Half a century would have gone by since the last time anyone from a maintenance crew managed any of its 753 subway pumps that prevented rainstorms from flooding the rails. There would now be a network of underground rivers below New York's concrete landscape. Steel columns supporting the streets above would buckle and create waterways through Park Avenue and Wall Street. Your abandoned house in your neighborhood would all be in pretty bad shape. Roofs would leak, nails would rust, Buildings would start collapsing. In major cities, streets would be littered with glass falling from decaying skyscrapers. All those skyscrapers would crumple into massive piles of rubble. Without climate control and electricity, museum vaults would be less fortunate. 500 years later, a forest would now cover where your home once stood. But buried in the dirt could still be the remains of many of your aluminum appliances and stainless steel cookware. Sadly, you wouldn't be around to cook any good meals with them anymore. With every stretch of black asphalt now overtaken by trees and grasses, temperatures would drop all over the world. The atmosphere would undergo changes as it continues to recover. Without humans, there would be less carbon dioxide in it. The initial boom in animal populations from after our disappearance would stabilize by this point. The Voyager space probes would be somewhere out beyond our solar system. Maybe some alien civilization would find them and learn that once upon a time, there was human life on Earth.